My name is Bill Robinson. I'm a former prisoner of war from the Vietnam era. And in fact, I have participated many times in the ride home. In fact, myself, Colonel Quinn Hurlick and Colonel Ben Purcell did the first ride home with some 40 r riders C compared to the present day when you were getting nearly 200 families and friends and nearly a thousand riders. So we're looking forward to your participation in a worthwhile cause to see families of our missing in action and former prisoners of war gather in a remembrance of their loved ones. There are a growing number of Americans who are very concerned about the value and price of hard-won freedom, and along with that, the care of our veterans, especially those who have become injured, killed, captured, or missing while serving in harm's way. If you are one of those great citizens with that kind of heart for our veterans, I have excellent news for you. There is an event that I am certain you and many of your associates, friends, and family members will want to be a part of. It is called The Ride Home. This is Ann M. Wolf, and I'm a songwriter, recording artist, author, and chaplain for God and Country. And it is my honor to tell you more about this event and the special people behind it. In the United States, by presidential proclamation, National POW MIA Recognition Day is observed on the third Friday in September. It honors those who have been prisoners of war as well as those who are missing in action. During that important third week of September, you will find POW MIA remembrance commemorations being held all across our nation, organized by civic groups, municipalities, churches, schools, and other historic institutions. One such event is known as the Ride Home, a national gathering of former prisoners of war and their families, as well as family members of our Missing in Action, these honored guests, as they are called by organizers of the ride home, are welcomed with open arms and treated to several days of events designed to thank them, our POW and MIAs for their service and contribution to freedom. These activities throughout a three-day period include opening services on the grounds of Andersonville, Georgia's historic prisoner of war site, followed by a hero's banquet, a keeping the promise service and candlelight service, a recognition service followed by a flyboy ground pounder lunch. All services are open to the public, while some of these events require registration. For motorcycle enthusiasts or Patriot bikers, those who ride alone or who are members of an MM, MC, or other motorcycle organization or club, there are opportunities to escort honored guests between events on at least three separate occasions throughout this weekend. Now, how is this financed? Each year, fundraising campaigns draw in the capital needed to pay for the room and board of honored guests, plus one, while they are at the ride home. The cost of one guest with their companion is approximately $375 giving Americans the chance to show their support via individual or group contributions. Many organizations such as American Legion, DAV, AMVETS, Vietnam Veterans of America, VFW, Rolling Thunder, Patriot Guard, as well as other businesses, churches, and corporations are proud to sponsor one or more honored guests for this weekend's experience. The facilitators of this amazing event are members of a special POW MIA advocacy group known as Honor, Release, Return. They are dedicated individuals who spend all year educating the American public on the current status of our POWs, and they keep us informed about those still missing in action or those who have been found and are being repatriated. Honor, Release, Return Leadership wishes to let you know that in addition to participating in the ride home, either in person or through your individual or group sponsorship, you can also show general support to this cause through other means, such as one-time donations or via the purchase of inspirational merchandise which can be found at the Ride Home website store. 
Now let's hear from a few special individuals who will speak to you about the ride home. Good morning. My name is Bill Norwood, and I'm from Cleveland, Tennessee. And uh, I served in, the, in Korea, and unfortunately I spent two and a half years as a prisoner of war there. And when I came home, I needed, uh, I needed support. And I found that in the ride home. Uh, those people uh, treat, me, treat me like a hero, which I'm not a hero, but uh, in their eyes, uh, I am. And uh, we, uh, this is a very important uh, part in our life, and we look forward each year to the event, uh, the ride home event and uh, we're uh, excited that uh, that'll be coming up uh, in September uh, and uh, as, as I said we're we're always uh, excited to go there and uh, be with those uh, people who make us feel uh, uh, a part of something very special. My name is Elizabeth Norwood, the wife Bill Norwood, ex-POW, and the ride home has helped him so much. He's with guys that have been through the same thing, and we have no problems with his post-traumatic stress when he's with all of these guys, and it's been a big help to me to understand what they've all been through. We really appreciate all that Mo has done and all the people that have put this together, and I want to thank them so much for doing that. We look forward to it every year. Thanks a lot. National POW MIA Day, recognition. Why? Why would you want to come? Let me share a, a small story I, I remember uh, several years ago. A former prisoner of war, uh, and if you're not familiar with that type of service member, their normal background is very uh, reclusive, might be the word. Very quiet and very inward, and, and, and they've seen some things that you and I uh, will never see and should never see. And, and they have a tendency to keep that inside. But this is a, me a venue, in my experience uh, working with military and, and patriotic events, this is a venue that is like none other. I've actually seen former prisoners of war sit down and tell it line by line exactly what they went through to just a friend, a new friend, and experience that with them to the point of tears where it comes back out. I know we've all heard the term post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, but until you sit down and talk with someone who has lived through such an event, uh, it's hard to really understand what it does to a human being. Uh, this is an opportunity to visit with those who Bataan Death March. Now, you want to know what happened under the Bataan Death March? Come to the ride home. Sit down, break bread with one of these true American heroes and learn the true story behind being a prisoner of war. Who can come? Th this is totally an open event. This is open to the public and, and we, we appreciate it. I mean, unity, uh, th this is not just strictly the brotherhood, if you will, and the sisterhood of the military organization. This is us. This is America. This is a place to see and sit down and talk with those heroes that have helped preserve your freedom. And it's an opportunity to thank them face to face. We hope you'll take time, check out our website, check out a sponsor sheet if you'd like. We'd love to have you participate at that level. And it's an easy thing to do. We realize that $375 may not be a number that's easy for you to reach in and pull out of your checkbook or out of your wallet. But as maybe your organization or maybe your church or maybe your VFW, or maybe your American Legion Hall. Maybe one of those can work together with you to help get that. And we'd be appreciative. And we will also take care of you. Come on down. We'll show you what it's all about. Thank you, and we appreciate your support. I think in one respect we should all remember that without veterans, there would be no United States of America. And so therefore, as we gather here, that we remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice for the freedoms that we enjoy every day. And let us never take their life for granted and move forward as a nation 
and honoring those who have made the supreme sacrifice for all that we have today. In conclusion, the Ride Home offers our POW MIAs and their families a chance to heal. It often becomes the place where stories can finally flow out from the deepest places in the soul of veterans, where terrible experiences have been kept filed away for years until the right moment, the right environment, until friendship brings the safety needed to release the pain that has been hidden away for so long in the heart. The Ride Home also has become a place where new relationships are established and much love, respect, and appreciation is exchanged. Now I and my friends at Honor Release Return encourage you to participate in regional commemorations on behalf of our POWs and MIAs in your communities. And additionally, through the Ride Home, you can also play an important role in history today. You can personally affect the happiness and peace of one or more of our American heroes or their families who have endured much. And while you are accomplishing that, you are also working in unity with other Americans from all over the country toward a great cause and outcome. Please go to the website, theridehome.com, and learn more about joining this movement or participating in this year's event. Your heart will be full and your care will be appreciated by some of our greatest Americans. You can be there for those who stood for you. May God keep you in his mercy and grace and we will see you live or in spirit at the ride home.